Okay, this is part two of our thoracic mobility and strengthening video series. Now, this one is on extension. So the first one was on rotation, now we're dealing with extension. So I've got three exercises for you to go through to help you with that extension range of movement. So first one, what we do is do extension sustained on the ground. Now some people can use a foam roller, so you can actually do it this way and we use this for sometimes doing oscillation ones where you roll back and forth but this one is a sustained one. Now usually with most people unless they're really hypermobile a foam roller is too big to do an extended extension like that. It's just too high and it's too much load and puts too much pressure on your neck and it's maybe a little bit too hard and forceful. Perhaps if you've got a half foam roller you can use this but the best thing that we find is just, for now, get rid of that foam roller and use your rolled up bath towel. So this way, just roll it up reasonably sort of tight, and that is what you're gonna arch over. All right, pretty simple stuff. Put that on the ground, and then this position is gonna be where you wanna feel the most sort of stretch. That's where the area of your spine is gonna be the stiffest, all right? So that point there, and you can fiddle around with this, is you go, okay, where is my stiffest point of the spine? Round about there, and you can test this all the time. Arms down, and then slowly back until your head rests on there. So what you're doing is trying to drape yourself over that Towel. And of course the towel squishes down, but then it's a solid mass, but it's a comfortable sort of mass. And this point here, you've got to try and work on breathing. Again, the same drill, working on your breathing, trying to relax, get the sort of bend into extension. Now it's not much, okay? There's not much extension in the thoracic spine, but this sort of stretch will really help you relieve some of that flexion tightness that you've got going on and meaning you've been in flexion too long or you've got that thoracic flexion posture and this has helped reverse that and stretch that out. So I work on that for about at least 30 seconds so it's got to be a comfortable 30 second stretch and then you can progress to maybe a minute that sort of thing and focus on breathing because you need that time and that breathing relaxation release to try and get enough sort of Grab, um, traction and enough sort of creep through the tissues to give you some sort of release and less stiffness into that extension so you can hold that posture better in sitting or standing instead of being in this routed position all day. So it's a very good one to reverse people who are sitting at the computer, okay, people who are sort of hunched over all day or stuck in that sort of posture. Good one, instead of just lifting yourself up, get out of your chair, get on the ground, arch over there, relax, try and reverse those sort of C-shaped flexion positions that you cop during the day. So that's a really nice one to do. Um, other people can actually roll up their um, mat, and I'll show you that for the next stretch, but roll towel, simple as. And even if that is too bulky, if you find it's too much stretch for you, just make it a smaller towel. Okay, so you only have a slight little wee bump there. So when you, instead of just lying on the floor like this, you've got something underneath that spine to arch you up to give you that thoracic extension, okay? So it doesn't have to be a big towel, it can be a small towel, start off small, and then progress along to see what's suitable for you. So that's your first one. The second thoracic extension one I like doing is long ways. Now this is where you can bring that foam roller back. So. What we do, and this is quite good because you need a long, sort of like 90 centimeter if you're as tall as I am, um, to cover the whole spine. You don't want one of those short ones, otherwise you'll have to make up with something else. So you need a long one. Now if you don't have a foam roller, get something like a yoga mat, and you can just roll that up. So what I mean is, you just can roll this up into here and make it tight, and use that as your length. For your foam roller okay it's a simple things but if you've got that foam roller super handy because then you can line it for a long period of time it's pretty mobile so like you've seen probably with other of our videos for this we're dealing with a lot of chest and pec stretching for this but for this exercise you're doing that which is great because it helps you actually extend when you're looser through the front so it's really good for that especially if you're in posture like this um, but lying on it 
in this position. So your head is on it, your pelvis is on it, and your thoracic spine is on it. So what's not on it is your cervical and your lumbar. So if you imagine my three points of contact is my hips, or my, pel my pelvis, my sacrum, okay? Then there's a gap here, lumbar spine. So I don't want this completely flat. There's a gap here. And then your thoracic spine's weight bearing on it. And then your head's weight bearing on it, but your cervical's not. So if you imagine like the two lordosis parts here and here are not on the roller, and then my kyphosis part, which is the thoracic spine, that one's on the roller. Now, gravity is going to give me, uh, because it's sort of curved on the roller, okay, imagine a curve on gravity is going to help push that down. Okay, so if I'm in a thoracic kyphosis, this is going to help slowly with gravity and my body weight slowly push me into extension. Okay, it's not as, you know, robust or abusive as the other one where you're arching backwards. So this is a calmer type stretch. It does different things. The good thing about this is you can work on a bit of chest, anterior, shoulder stretching at the same time. Now with this one here, if you've got your arms out and what we call like instead of a T, we come into a W position. What you're trying to do is not have your arms floating off the ground like that. What you're trying to do is have them down on the ground. Now you might be too tight for that to happen. So the best thing you can do is start with a T and then pull down. So you're trying to get elbows and hands on the ground, but in a sort of a W position if you like. All right. Now at this point here, you've got to then focus on, okay, is my head in neutral? Make sure you know, the, the tightness here doesn't push your head up into this position. All right, and doesn't arch your lower back in that position either. So work on keeping neutral here. So your ribs need to come down a bit. Okay, so you're pulling your ribs down a bit, maybe a little bit active through the front here, and then neck long, so it's a neutral spine here. Go for the T, come down into the W, and you'll feel that right through the front of your chest. You'll feel like there's more of a stretch through the front across there than there is through the back, but you will be getting a thoracic extension stretch through the back. And it does help your scapula get back and down through there as well to open yourself up. Just be careful, make sure you don't get pins and needles. So don't pull down so far that you're starting to get a headache or you're getting pins and needles because that means you're just going too far neurally, okay? So that's number two, that's a really, really good one. Now, the third one is what we get people doing now, sort of, you know, supine stretches. But if you can't get on the floor, you want to do something different, we get you doing a sort of four-point sort of prone type one, which helps you get rid of some of that thoracic sort of kyphosis stiffness, gets you into a little bit more extension, but also works on some lats. So this one is a really good one to do. If you're one of those people who have, say, problems overhead, like say you're doing an overhead squat or you're an athlete has overhead, and as you come up, if you've got tightness through the lat sort of type system or down below the shoulders, when you come up, you'll be limited, okay? So if, you, if your tightness is here and you have thoracic tightness, you're gonna be limited how far back your hand can get. So this might be quite a good one for those type of people who are lifters or the overhead athletes to try and get more range here through their shoulder and through their thoracic spine. All you need is a chair, okay? So, Go into your like four point position on the chair. Now you can do it two ways. You can have elbows straight or you can have bent elbows. Now I'll show you elbows straight. You basically get yourself in a position where your head is going to clear the front of the chair. Okay. And then you slowly drop down into this position here and try and think about between your shoulder blades dropping down to the floor, okay, so you go into this position and just hang there in that position, trying to get as much range as you can here. Now some people are gonna feel that straight away in their thoracic spine, right between the shoulders. Other people, if they're looser there but tighter here, are gonna feel it down through their lats. I certainly feel it through the lats there. So that's a short arm, a uh, long arm. The short arm one, just go into bent elbows, same thing on the edge of the bed there, edge of the chair I should say, and then slowly drop down into this position here. Get yourself in the right position with your lumbar spine 
and try and just drop as far as you can and just hold it there. Now that position there, because I'm taking away some of my lats a little bit, I feel it more in my lower thoracic down here where I've got a bit of stiffness. So you know, different strokes for different folks for that one. Try both now, work out what is best for you. Maybe you will do both of those stretches, one for your lat, one for other parts, but trying to get some sort of gravity relaxation down through that spine, which is just a different stretch from doing it the other way. And like I said, you may find athletes prefer that one for their overhead stuff. But hey, do all three if you've got thoracic spine stiffness problems. Remember, it's not really designed to get rid of a kyphosis or try and change a fixed thoracic spine. It's to relieve the stiffness and pain from sitting too long or being in a position like that, especially if you need it to do sport or other activities. All right, give those three a shot.